exterior, yeah. Let's talk about the exterior. To me, curb appeal is figuring out what you can do to the front of your house to make it feel really personal. If your house is a reflection of you and your family, you're gonna like the way it looks and everybody else is gonna like it too. One of the ways I love to update the front of a house is by adding texture. So if the front of the house is just one material, say it's all stucco, I wanna mix it up a little bit. Adding texture where there wasn't texture before is a great way to change the look of the front of the house. I love board and batten siding because it's a really simple material. It's usually budget conscious and it's a great accent material. There are evenly spaced strips of wood over a flat panel behind it. We're putting the battens up on this board and batten siding. This is one of those things that the value is really good. You know, like we're not spending that much money on this, but it's completely changing the exterior of this house. This is a traditional craftsman style finish, but it can be used in mid-century modern architecture. If you're going for more of a, a truly modern look, you can also use this material. It's great on a cottage. I use it in what I call a California craftsman all the time. So there's a lot of ways to use this material. I love using lap siding because it gives you the feeling of custom carpentry. This lap siding is going to be the detail that sets this house apart. It's going to look cottagey, it's going to look craftsman. It's different than just something that's flat. It has a lot of movement to it and it's a great way to add interest to the exterior of your house. I love adding stone to the front of a house. It's a great way to add texture, it's another material, it feels really natural. That said, I don't think you need to put it on the entire face of a house or it's gonna feel like you live in a castle. So, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing if you wanna live in a castle. By using stone in strategic spots, you can really add a lot of visual interest to the front of the house for not a lot of money. A front door is a really great way to add personality and really say something about who lives in this home. Picking a front door color can be hard. If you're really struggling, look at your closet. Figure out what you wear. I mean, maybe I like the color yellow. Literally, my front door is painted this exact same color. I just realized that. <laughs> Carrie told me she wants a new front door. The first time I met Carrie, she's wearing this bright blue shirt. And I was like, oh, I really like your shirt. She's like, it's my favorite color. I'm gonna paint her front door that color. It's gonna make all the difference in the front of this house. Check the manicure, you know what I'm saying? There are a few rules when painting your front door. My secret is to go with a color that I really like and then go all the way down to the darkest version of that color. So this isn't bright blue, but it's definitely a pop of color for the front of the house. The reason I picked the bottom color is because usually it's the most saturated version of that color and it just feels a little bit richer. It has a bit more of the hue to it. So when you look at the front of the house, it reads that color, but it's not quite so jarring. Painting the garage door is a great way to add a lot of curb appeal to the house and visual interest. That said, you don't want to get too crazy. This garage door is literally the same garage door that every other house in the neighborhood has. So I am spraying this beautiful beachy blue. Think about how this garage door can function with the overall design. So if you have a blue house, don't paint your garage door the same color blue. Do something that's a bit darker or a bit lighter, and then you're gonna have that contrast that the front of the house needs. Adding wood to the front of the house is a great way to add just a natural element. I mean, you have that like really organic uh, texture with the wood grain, it's interesting, and it's just something that isn't painted. It definitely matters what type of wood you use for the exterior of your house, and the finish also matters a lot as well. So if you live close to the beach, choose a wood that's really hardy and can withstand a lot of moisture. If you live in the desert, choose a wood that can withstand the sun and the heat. I mean, there's just a lot of different things that go into choosing the type of wood, but your local hardware store can probably help you. Sometimes people get a little crazy with the paint and they paint over things that should be left. We're literally blasting away the cookie cutter of this house. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we sure are. We're like, oh, you want to be cookie cutter? <laughs> no! <laughs> Posts and beams over the years, they get these layers of paint added to them. And by removing that paint and bringing back that natural wood grain, it can provide a beautiful contrast and just something that's really unique to a house. Adding a metallic accent to the front of the house is just a great way to add just one more layer that you might not otherwise expect, but when you see it on there, it's like, oh, now I get it. It just looks good. 
I love copper because it's a metal that isn't as predictable. I mean, you see a lot of brass, you see a lot of like galvanized or like a silver color metal, but copper is somewhere in the middle and you don't see it as much. I want to put new gutters on that are copper what? that are going to like be the jewelry on the front of this house. Like they are going to sparkle, they are going to shine. Over time it will patina and yeah. it's going to be totally different. I mean, I haven't seen any other house in this neighborhood that has copper gutters. And that copper rain chain, I mean, you can't argue with that. It's almost like having a fountain in your front yard. It's just one more way to set this house apart. By adding copper caps to the end of these beams, I was able to just add a little bit of bling to the front of this house and really set off that Spanish Hacienda style design. Right now it's shiny like a penny, but as the weather hits it, it's gonna change. Right, it will uh, start to turn a little brown, red, and then hopefully eventually green, you know, yeah. with the patina. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Yeah. I can see myself. Hey, <laughs> look, hey. <laughs>